Hi everybody, happy Monday! Welcome to my Art Journal Watch Along video. My name is Sarah and I'm the artist behind Pinsel Geschichten. And today I want to make a page where I stay quite monochromatic and I'm starting off with some deco patch paper and glue here. I'm just uh, treating the whole page with that glue and then I'm uh, putting down those deco patch paper strips with a zebra pattern. Uh, like I said, I want to stay monochromatic, so black and white will be the main colors in this page here. And as you just saw at the opener, I will only add one more color. So when this whole thingy background here is dry, I can move on. Um, luckily enough, that glue pre uh, dries pretty quickly and especially with the decoupage paper, um, you can just give it a blast with, I don't know, a hairdryer or a heat gun and you're good to go. So next step up, I need something to put my tree on that I'm gonna paint or draw. Um, so I chose this part of a doily here and then I'm taking uh, acrylic spray paint in black and I'm just going to blacken it like all the way. I will add a tiny bit of white later, just um, as kind of a morning fog kind of feel to the part of the tree, but um, I wanted to have black for the ground um, just to, well, settle the whole thing, you know? Um, since that decoupage paper is dry, I can now cut it to um, the right size, meaning any excess will be cut off. So I do have a pretty, pretty page there. I really like that pattern. It's uh, kind of, I don't know, it's weird, but still um, it isn't too busy. Uh, but yeah, busy enough, I think. It also, funny, funny, funny thing, um, the zebra pattern actually reminds me of a tiny bit of the pattern of a birch tree so I guess that's why I chose the zebra over a tiger or a cow pattern there for the background. So I'm taking the same glue that I used for the background uh, to also put down that doily and uh, then again I'm just drying everything off. It takes a bit longer with the doily because of the spray paints so the glue is more like a varnish or a sealing kind of agent not really a glue not like with the zebra pattern because the acrylic paint actually doesn't let um, the glue suck into the paper. But once that is dry, I took uh, white acrylic spray paint and you just saw that I added a whole lot of it just to soften out the zebra, zebra pattern a tiny bit. And then I added a bit more black on the lower part of the page just to get that black saturation back that I kind of lost when I added that white acrylic spray paint. Again, uh, quite a blast of my hair dryer here. And then I, uh, the page needs maybe 15 to 20 minutes to cool down and um, well be, be not sticky anymore. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, I took uh, this frame here. For, again, it's a piece from board games uh, where we punched out things and then I use that stuff for artwork. So I make a frame here and I'm coloring it with light ochre and cadmium yellow. It's uh, the, the base color is light ochre and then again giving it kind of a blast here with my hairdryer uh, just to get the acrylics starting to dry and then I'm taking this cadmium yellow and just uh, going over the frame but not having a solid layer here but more like um, 
a glaze of some sort, uh, just to have some, some warm uh, feeling getting on in the frame. Because black and white is cold colors and the light ochre alone wouldn't have counterbalanced that, but with a light yellow I think it's the, the whole page will get more of a warm touch here. So now that my background is totally dry and not sticky anymore, I'm just taking uh, a marker pen. This happens to be uh, a brush tipped pit uh, artist pen from Faber Castell and I'm just sketching very loosely a tree here and uh, just coloring the trunk and the twigs and everything just monochromatic again with that black marker. Now the inspiration for this tree actually comes from a tree that is in the garden of some neighbors of ours and what I'm gonna paint here is reality. Uh, it's I don't know what kind of a tree it is but um, it looks pretty much like the tree that I um, painted so far and you will have the gimmick in a second here but first let me glue down my frame. Um, need some weight because the cardboard curled kind of. So back to the tree story. Um, it's been of course autumn here, the leaves are falling and in the garden of my neighbors um, there's like this tree, and again, I don't know what kind of tree exactly it is. It might be, I don't know. It's not an oak, I know that. It's some kind of a local tree. And that tree has one single yellow leaf remaining on, on the tree. All the other leaves have gone already there on the ground or, I don't know, already... Um, somewhere in the winds, you know, but it, that huge tree has one <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny yellow leaf remaining. So uh, I saw that, um, when, did, when did I see it? Tuesday, I think, Tuesday morning when, uh, just when I got coffee just before going to my studio, I saw that and thought, ah, this is, this is a cool thing to do in the art journal today. So that's that's why I chose this uh, theme here. So um, you just saw maybe half a minute ago that I added some white cardstock to the back of the paper and that is because the frame is a tiny bit bigger than it actually needs to be for the page. So just to have everything anchored, I added that cardstock on the back with some glue. Now I'm just taking the same color that I used for the frame, uh, light ochre and cadmium yellow, to paint that one leaf remaining on the tree and all the trees, uh, all the leaves that have fallen down and some leaves that are flowing in the wind and uh, then well I'm just having to sign my page and it's done. So if you have any questions about any techniques or whatever I did today here, let me know in the comment section below. Also, I thank you very, very much for watching. If you feel like giving this video a thumbs up or share it or subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate that. And I'm going to see you tomorrow with a tiny Tuesday, very tiny painting. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye.